a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord Maligayang panahon ng Pasko ng Pagkabuhay. On this sixth Sunday of Easter, we continue to reflect on the presence of the risen Lord. In the Gospel reading for this Sunday, we are drawn to see the ways of loving that the Lord presented to the disciples when He was bidding farewell to them during the last song. Ito yung pagkakataon na ibinigay niya sa kanila ang kanyang huling habilin na ang buod ay ang kanyang sinabi na, Magmahalan kayo. Pero sa pagkakataong ito, ang sinabi niyang habilin ay tungkol sa kung paano siya mahalin. According to Jesus, how can he be loved? Or what can be the ways or proofs that he is loved by the disciples? First, Jesus said, Whoever loves me will keep my word. The first condition, therefore, is we have to keep His word. We have to listen to, remember, and act on His words. Ang kailangan ay hindi lamang makinig sa Kanyang salita. Ang tunay na nakatatanda ay nagiging tanda ng pagmamahal ni Jesus na nakikita sa gawa. Isinasa buhay ang salita. Second, Jesus said, If you loved me, you will rejoice that I am going to the Father. For Jesus, He is truly loved when the disciples allow Him to go, because it will be for the better, for the good of all. In other words, Ito ay ang pagmamahal na tinitingnan ang kapangkana ng minamahal at ng nakararami, hindi lamang ang sarili. It is a love that knows how to let go, how to be detached from the beloved. Masakit malayo sa minamahal, pero minsan, kailangan matuto tayong magalap para sa minamahal, kahit na ito ay malayo sa atin. Lalo na kung alam natin na ang kanyang paglayo ay para sa kabutihan natin o sa kabutihan ng nakararami. Ang pagsasabuhay ng pagmamahal na ito na ayon kay Jesus ay hindi madali. Kaya nagbigay siya ng tatlong habilin kung paano nga isasabuhay ito. Sa una niyang habilin ang sabi niya, The Advocate the Holy Spirit that the Father will send in my name. He will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Hindi tayo mag-iisa. Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit whom He calls the Advocate. In Greek, this word is paraclete, and it literally means 
someone who comes in our sight. It suggests that we are struggling and He comes to be with us in our struggles and helps us. Ginagabayan tayo at pinagagaan ang loob. Sa ikalawang habigin, ang sabi naman ni Jesus, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Kapayapaan ang loob ni Jesus. Kapayapaan ang pamana niya. Sa ikatlong habilin, sabi naman niya, Let your hearts not be troubled or afraid. Nais ni Jesus na magkaroon tayo ng kapanatagan ng kalooban sa kabila ng mga pagsubok at paghihirap. Dahil andyan siya, kasama natin, hindi siya nang iiwan. Nakakagaan ng loob ang mga habiling ito ni Jesus. Sana ay mais sa buhay natin at mapanghawakan sa patuloy nating pagsunod ng may pagmamahal sa Kanya. May the Spirit of the Risen Lord teach us how to love. A love that listens to the words of the Beloved. A love that knows how to rejoice, to let go and be detached from the Beloved. A grace-filled Easter season to all.